Beautiful day to go picking. I'm back out here bright and early. Pretty packed. I'm on a mission this week to find that elusive second wind that I missed. Nice and windy this morning. Temperature is about 75. Let's go see if we can catch our second wind. Pun intended. Man, a lot of early birds out here. Somebody was asking about that Dale car. Look at this. Man. Yes, it 
with the Jordans. See if it would take any less for them. It's all the trash water. See if we can find a second wind. Get up and go home now. But still got a little money in my pocket. A little more market to see. Let's keep it moving. Guy looks familiar. Yeah. You guys saw how many hot rod magazines I have. One day we'll have to go pick it in my storage unit. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
It's amazing. These old tools have a smell to them. I bet they haven't invented smell tube yet, or you guys could experience the smell I'm smelling. Pretty unique. about for the Hot Wheels? Same thing. So those weren't worth three dollars but the faster than ever was so let's see what else we find i like that sign check this out i haven't seen a 2020 stuff uh, 2021 that's neat what's up man how are you You got on your little cars? About uh, three, three for five. Okay. Uh, Any person use those? Yeah. Pretty good sneakers too. Right. Thank you, man. <laughs> you gotta be. Yeah, hey, size twelve. About twelve. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, my friend, you come down on these yet? Remember, I was asking about these a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was like, still, still haven't made money on the lot that I bought with those. I'm still trying to get 60 on them. 60? Yeah. I'm down to like 30 bucks. I'll, I'll try you next week, man. Oh, yeah. See how you doing. All right, man. Appreciate it. 60 for those Jordans is better than 75. Maybe next week they'll be 45. Keep it moving. Cam. Can I get this for you? How much you got on this stuff in here? How much? Yeah. Pico, whatever you want. I'm sorry. Pico, whatever. Okay. There's a lot of them. Come on, 
comemos este castiduro, comemos lo que nos dé la gana. <risa> Two bucks for all that stuff. Look at this. Even bigger Michelin guy. I don't know how much it is. Sir, how much for the Michelin man? Three fifty. Three dollars and fifty cent ain't too bad. One forty. One forty. Dollar forty. I don't think he's saying 350 or $1.40. I think he's saying 350 Yikes. You don't use the power out there. I know you do. <laughs> Whatever you want, dude. Always wanted to have a different doorknob on each cabinet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> There's some neat stuff cool. in there. There is. She has Six some really cool every stuff. Week. Yeah, really cool. Every time I'm out here, I never know what I'm going to find. Yeah, but you always count and you never find a dozen of the same one. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's why I say you gotta be eclectic. Gotta be eclectic, you know. Right now, I'm doing them at from here down to there. I'm doing them uh, two a piece or two for three today. Two for three. Two for three today. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at that truck, man. I really did like that one. That's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. Shorty This one, I could probably do four on that one. Four on that? Yeah. These high wheels are two a piece or two for three on this section. This 
four on that one too? Yeah. Two on. Let's see what I got so far here. Let's do that one more. So something. That's where I put my water at. I'll get that thing. How much are these? Same price. I'm doing these. These are the first editions, okay. final runs. Uh, two a piece, two for three. Yeah, cutting them down this week. Prices are coming down a bit. Got all that for 19 bucks. Oh, they were real. He said, will you be here next week? I said, probably not. Cool stuff here. Third prices too. Five bucks. on the loose ones. Four for ten? Yeah, I'll give it that. Okay. Well, guys, that's about it. Pretty good day at the market. I 
set out to get that second win, and I got it. Back home. Pretty good day of picking. We got some beautiful weather out here today. Probably around 75 degrees. A little wind, but not too bad. Let's start off with some Lucy's. I think I paid a dollar a piece for these. Probably not the smartest thing in the world, considering how beat they are, but... I don't know, sometimes I like to look at these old beat up cars. Kind of imagine where they've been. I remember having this one brand new as a kid. Of course, mine got sharpened quite a bit. Every time you get a little black chip, you just take a Sharpie marker or a black marker of some sort and fill in the blanks. Got this thing. Bugatti. Black wall car. Still rolls. Not too bad. And this thing. Probably worth the dollar. Old matchbox. Made in England by Lesney. Tow hitch no longer exists, but still rolls. Still has shots. Continue with some new stuff here. This was probably the best deal of the day. I asked the guy how much the cars were. He said, just pick some out. Got all of these for $2. Start off with a GT3 RS pullback. Still works. Gets out of the hole pretty good. Wonder who would win out of that or a pullback Audi TT. Ready? Who you got? Go. TT got him on the hole shot. Always like playing with the pullbacks. Ooh, ooh. Right, we got the two Germans there. <laughs> Dang, Grinder. A little bit of Weevil Wobble. Oh, that's bent axle right there. That's not tire. Let's see. We could probably bend it back. There you go. That's a professional alignment right there. I could fiddle with it and get it even better. Nice black walls, fire eater. Not as nice as the one I got a couple weeks ago, but still pretty nice. Yes, cornflakes car. It's a nice car. Racing champions, what is this? Evans International. Ooh, made in China. Looks, looks like something that came in a box of cornflakes. This little Monte Carlo. Another cornflake car. Same thing. I oh, can read this one better. Nevins International. Yep, 1993 to 96 Kellogg Co. A nice Lumina. You guys know I love my boats. Rescue unit. Hot Wheels Fire Department. And this thing. I thought this is pretty nice. Good shape, too. 2002 Snorkel Fire Truck Matchbox. What's really cool about it is the. Does the ladder go up? Wait a minute. Ha ha. Man, they cheapened out on the ladder. The ladder doesn't actually open. Wait a minute here. You gotta be kidding me. Nope. It looks like it's got a seam. It's got the hinge. Got the guy in the bucket back there. It just doesn't extend. It doesn't open. Cheap down on Got 
these for a dollar each. Pretty shabby. First edition salt flat racer. This red car. I want to start taking a look at the back of these cards if I can remember too. Sometimes we miss out on some cool stuff here. Uh oh, we got a whiner. Say hi to Emmy. She just got a bath. Say hi, Em. Say hi. Back to the show. Look at this. Man. They had some very cool track sets back in the day. Let's move these guys over. Let's put this guy over here. The card is tough right there. Turbulence. Picking quite a few up lately. Metal on metal. Look at this thing. Hot Wheels World. Whole city playset. I got a bunch of this city street stuff somewhere. Another hyperliner. Man, look at that. That's incredible. Number 97, Sharpie car. Team Caliber. And for a buck, not bad. Dale Jarrett, 1998 Taurus. It's about a 143rd scale. Wait a minute, what's that say? I think that says 143 scale die cast. Bunch of writing on the back. Great stuff from Big Man this week. There's a bunch of stuff in this guy. This is not only from Big Man, this is from stuff, including some loose cars. And... Yeah, we'll just go through it in no particular order. Did spot this faster than ever. Guy had a bunch of $3 cars on the table. This was the only one I wanted. Triumph TR6 with fast cars. Look at this. Beautiful. AC Delco. Number three, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Great looking car. Oh, look at that, you get a card on the back. That's pretty neat. Look at that. Another Dale Jr., number 31. This car is a lot more rare to find. Another card there. Pretty cool. Look at that. Bent up. Way to go. Yeah, I got this for a race anyway. T hunt. That's the forward speed. Nice old Johnny here. That is triple threat. Three blown motors on one car. Must be fast, right? It's on the back of that thing. I'll tell you, you bought a car back in the day and you had plenty of stuff to read. It's on the back of that Jeep. Yeah, not much. Here's another T-Hunt. Power Pistons. I don't remember having this one in the collection, so picked it up. This is the JK's from 2017, so I probably do have it. My memory doesn't quite go back that far anymore. Guster. It just looks like it stinks, though, right? This thing. Lumina Stalker. Nice heavy metal on metal car. Let's go back to that one. 
Look at this, collector tips, wow. The rear engine Mongoose sold in 1972 continues to increase in value with an approximate collector price of 150 bucks. I think it's worth a little more than that now. There's some rare ones. Country Club Muscle, 2007. That's a plastic on metal car. Unobtainium. Unobtainium 1. Always reminded me of a Dodge Magnum. This also has a plastic top, metal base. Pretty neat pearlescent paint job, though. Cool the way they melded that into the plastic on the back. Fun facts. There have been three limo body styles in the Hot Wheels line. The original limousine introduced in 1989, Sid Mead Sentinel 400 introduced in 2002, and now Unobtainium 1. So that's a limo body style? I guess. Hey, hey you guys remember this show, Max Steel. Always like to pick up the MX-48 Turbo, metal on metal car. Beautiful metal flake in that paint job. Oh, well, let's just get this out of the way right now. Needed a podium for an up and coming king of the hill with all rubber tires. Here we have a rubber tire Goodyear Eagle. That'll be pretty neat to either do a rubber tire king of the hill or a NASCAR race. Great little podium. You didn't earn it. There we have the shredded. I just love the color on this car. The yellow and orange look great together. Got the nice little flame job over the silver. Pretty cool. 2007 series. Some more fun facts there. I won't read them all to you. Here you have Vulture. Those flames pop on that blue. There you go. Got the bio on there. That's always cool. Born 2000. This is what should be on the back of every Hot Wheels car. And we got this thing. Monoposto. Always thought this was cool. The driver in there. Another one with the kids room. This one. Grease Lightning. Definitely a weird casting. Thing. Exploder. This is a different name, I think, now. Can't quite remember what it is. Could be wrong. This might be a totally different car. The one giant turbine, two jets in the back. <laughs> Hold on. It's the ice cream man. Ah, we'll let him go. Used to chase that guy all the way down the street, but I'm not gonna chase $5 ice cream. Let's see, Bully Goat. Look at this. That's Rapid Transit. Always reminded me of like Muscle Tone or one of those cars. This has a nice Joker feel to it with the green and the purple windshield. Track tune, convertible, the speakers in the back. That's neat. Crazy looking interior, race seats. Huh, it's like something off Fast and Furious. More fun facts on the back. What does this one have on the back? Oh wow, the city scene there. There's a cool one. Hot Wheels Racing, the F Racer. Like that whole get up on that car, Tampos. Look at this, 60 Chevy Impala. The bigs and littles on it, set up for the drag strip. 
This is when racing champions and Hot Rod paired up to make some very cool cars that were featured in the magazines. Speaking of which, one day we're going to go picking in my storage unit through my Hot Rod magazines and the rest of the mags in my collection. I got a ton of them. A couple of loose cars here. Nice 55 Chevy. The 80s color scheme on it. This thing. That is officially. Doesn't have a name. Just a 34 Ford, I think. That's a nice one. Oh man, I'm missing a headlight. That stinks. Got a few more beater vets. Oh, man, this Johnny. There we go. Fixed. What do you got in here? What do you got? Oh. Two four barrels. Nice little barnyard find there. Got a barnyard find Corvette here. This one's got. Also got two four barrels on it. Should be fuel injected. Nice low rider Lincoln. Suicide doors in the back. There we go. Picked up another Jag. XJ8 with a Jaguar on the side. Don't know why I got that, but I did. Yep. Another barnyard find. It's cool to see this out of the package. This is the Aero Vet. Talked about that a couple weeks ago. Nice gold wing doors. They don't open, but it's all right. Everybody's raving about that C8 Corvette having that rear engine. This one had a rear engine way back in 19... When's this from? 98, but I think the car is way earlier than that. It's the 70s or something like that. Maybe even the 60s. Then, what we set out to get, we found it. Nice second wind. Just a metal on plastic car, but black walls. One of my favorite cars as a kid. I love that cartoon Speed Racer. So, couldn't find myself a die cast Mach 5 back then. Second wind had to be my Mach 6. I did a dollar a piece on those and then threw this in for four bucks. Old Thunderbird. Tell you what, not bad. Metal on metal car. Lots of flea bites, but you can still see pretty much the way it came. Nice white paint with the red and blue on it. Love the aqua color windows. It's a different era car. It's nice. And I thought these were super cool to find. Guy gave me all four of these for 10 bucks. And if you live here in the States, man, you know how hard it is to get a hold of Corgi. I mean, Corgi is basically pretty rare, pretty elusive. Here we have a M3 BMW. Love the Corgi stuff too. They got a little bit of shock action going on. Nice wide body with a wing. One of my favorite cars growing up in real life, an R5 Turbo. I know I've told the story a few times of uh, coming out of the bank with my mom and all I could see was this 911 Porsche at the red light revving his engine up. And I was like, wow, this Porsche is going to take off. And then I heard this. Whoosh, I was like, what was that? All of a sudden, the light turned green. They went, and this thing just started walking away from the Porsche. And ever since that day, I loved R5 turbos. Unbelievable. And you'd see them every once in a while when I was a kid. A nice wide body, huge rear tire. Yeah, man, special, special moment for me. Look at this, Firebird. Nice cord guitar. And last Corgi. B12. 
beautiful 190E Benz or 300. What is that? And it just says made in Great Britain. That is RS RCS 30. Looks like a 190, right? It might be a 300. Anyway, super cool. The ground effect kit on it. Probably an AMG kit on there. All right, last one. Got hot seat. Tell you what, this guy's had a great table the last couple weeks I've been out there. He evidently came across a collection. I know that's not the boys. Our Honda's not running right now. Anyway, final run car, hot seat. His prices were a little higher last week. He's starting to come down. Starting to realize that people are out here for deals. You're not going to get eBay prices out there. Beautiful final run edition. Let's drop the base. 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 I love this truck right here. 1979 F-150 with Miller on the side. California classics since 1940. Keep forgetting to look on the back, of course. One day I will dedicate a whole video to looking at the front and back of cards. Talbot Lago. Beautiful Pebble Beach looking car. Man, that is gorgeous. On a shorty card, cards in perfect shape. Man, beautiful car. Look at this. Awesome looking flat black 40 Ford Coupe. Just thought that car looked so great in that flat black. Beauty. Another one for Pebble Beach here. 1935 Caddy. Gold. Just shining in the sun. Beautiful. 35 Caddy. Man, imagine that. Your chauffeur's up there exposed to the elements while you're back in here comfy cozy. Stewart, step on it. Mercedes 380 SEL, possibly the most beautiful paint job that Hot Wheels ever did. Look at this car. <laughs> Man, I might need to turn down the brightness on the camera. That is gleaming. I'll tell you, some of these cars are like jewelry. You start looking at these paint jobs. Just absolutely gorgeous. A nice Myers Manx. Just saw one of these the other day. Pretty cool. Still running around, looking cool. Couple of drag cars. Starting off with a dragster. Dragon Wagon. Oh, Dragon Wagon Series, one of five. Did it show the other five? Yeah. So we got Dragster, Pontiac GTO, 84 Lincoln Continental drag car, huh. Toyota Celica and SC400 drag car. That's weird. And of course, another funny car. Not to be confused with the King of the Hill though, or the King of the Hill funny car. I'm confusing myself with this whole deal. This is the Mustang funny car. Never quite as fast as the actual Firebird funny car and stuff like that, but still cool. And anytime time you can run across a nice Super. Back in the good old days when the Super Teons were green, all you had to do was get to the pegs and look for that little green strip and you knew you hit the jackpot. This is a Cadillac Eldorado from 57. Of course, Super Treasure Hunts had the special paint job, rubber tires. Special wheels, a little more detail. It's on the back, same stuff, but hey, look at that. I'll tell you what the T on is. Right there too, that little, that's awesome. And another super T hunt, the super tsunami. 
Everybody knows that's a Supra. Clever way around paying royalties. Of course, the tea hunt there. Man, that's really a nice car, though. Pretty awesome. All right, guys, that'll do it. Pretty good day of picking. Hopefully you got some things that I don't have. And some that I do. But nonetheless, always room for more. All right, guys. Happy picking out there. Stay safe. Take care. Yeah, guys, let me know if you want to see the back of the cards more. You can definitely incorporate that into the video. Hey, baby girl. Are you dry yet? Huh? Almost. <laughs>